Hello, I'm Marion Mulkey, Director of the California Healthcare Foundation's Health Reform and Public Programs Initiative. Our foundation works as a catalyst to fulfill the promise of better health care for all Californians by supporting ideas and innovations that improve quality, increase efficiency, and lower the costs of care. Big changes are coming in the way Americans get and pay for their health care. By 2014, the National Health Reform Law known as the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, could help as many as 32 million Americans who now have no health care to receive coverage. And it will transform the way many others are covered. There are five major ways that our health care system will change. I'll discuss each of them briefly here, and then you can watch separate videos that go deeper into each of these issues. First, Government-funded health insurance will expand in 2014 to cover two to three million more Californians who can't afford to buy their own insurance today. The program, known as Medi-Cal in California, will include individuals earning $15,000 a year or less and families earning $30,500 or less. For the first time, adults with no children will be eligible. Secondly, beginning in 2014, no one can be denied coverage by an insurance company for having pre-existing conditions or for any other reason. And all insurance policies will have to provide a certain level of essential benefits, including preventive services, such as routine vaccinations and mammograms. The law also limits how much more insurance companies can charge the old versus the young. Third, while insurance companies will have many new requirements and responsibilities, so will the rest of us. All Californians, in fact, all Americans, will be required to have health coverage through their work, through a public program like Medi-Cal, or by buying it on their own. If they don't, they will have to pay a tax penalty. There will be a few exceptions to the rule, including people for whom buying coverage would create an undue financial burden. Fourthly, most Americans get their health coverage through their employers, and beginning in 2014, businesses will also have to meet stiffer requirements. Larger companies will have to offer adequate coverage to their employees, and if they don't, they will have to pay a penalty if their workers end up using government-supported coverage. Small employers with mostly low-wage workers will be eligible for subsidies to help pay their share of their employees' premiums. And finally, the way people shop for and buy coverage is also going to change. In 2014, health insurance exchanges will help consumers comparison shop for policies. Each state is allowed to build its own exchange, but if they don't, the federal government will provide a fallback option. California was one of the first to establish an exchange after the passage of health reform. Exchanges will help people learn if they are eligible for government-supported health care, like Medi-Cal, or subsidies to help them pay for private coverage. But all legal residents, even those who don't qualify for federal financial assistance, will be able to use the exchange to shop for coverage. Exchanges will also offer options for small businesses. I've covered five important topics here. How the new federal law will expand the number of people who have insurance coverage, new requirements for insurance companies, new requirements for businesses, new responsibilities for individuals and families to have coverage, and a new way people will be able to shop for and buy coverage policies. We've produced videos that go into detail on each of these subjects. You can access them at chcf.org forward slash health reform. I'm Marion Mulkey from the California Healthcare Foundation. Thanks for watching.